Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off with only two years to go before we can hybridize with the Egyptian culture. Now, that being said, I might actually begin our kingdom invasion a little bit sooner, but I'm hoping that we can get Bilum just done before we do that, so it might be another couple years. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get some good events from this, but uh, we'll see. In the meantime, we might as well continue our western expansion, and I think our next target will be Opanda. Yes, miss, I would like to come for your duchy of Nupa. Fantastic. Uh, now I think Yoruba land also owns a portion of Nupa, but I don't think we'll be attacking them for that. No. I think after we make this kingdom, they can just kind of deal with it uh, themselves. If they want to attack them, then so be it. If not, then that's cool too. Now with her, we have a truce for another five years, right? Because we just won the war nine days ago. So I guess maybe this guy will be our next target then, after our panda. Yeah. Oh, so in between episodes, I arranged more marriages. And uh, more importantly, I invited a metric ton of people. So I realized that I don't actually need to get anyone uh, married to um, bring them into our court. I mean... With some characters I do, but with a lot of them, I can just basically invite them to my court. So, yeah, I've uh, invited a lot of people into our court. So, yeah, uh, I kind of lost track of how many people exactly, but there's going to be a lot of people coming in. So, yeah, and obviously I'll demand conversion and whatnot in between episodes or off camera at least, and we'll see how that goes. Um, anything else to deal with? Oh, I guess we should maybe give away these counties before we do this, shouldn't we? All right, sure. Um, I guess I could just give it to this lady. Man, she has a lot of uh bonuses to her health. I'm hoping that I didn't make a mistake by giving her this county. Watch her live until like 120 years old or something. Hmm, because I was thinking that we would give these counties to a family member that I eventually want to take over the um, kingdom. And that would be someone with no claim so that they don't go around attacking each other. Essentially, we have, yeah, either Menhit or a bunch of kids. Obviously not Seket because she owns Kordofan. Um, I guess our likeliest candidate would be Asim. Still a youngster, though. Hmm. Maybe I'll just give it to her. Yeah, because then maybe she'll... Shoot. But what if she doesn't die before we need to give this kingdom away? Right? Hmm. Alright, you know what? I'm going to take a bit of risk here and give it to this youngster. Sure. Don't mess this up. Whatever you do, do not mess this up. Don't make me regret this, sir. Alright, great. And can I be his guardian? Oh no, I already have a couple of wards. Gotcha. Okay, so with you, miss, I would like to do a holy war because I think we actually need to preserve our uh, prestige. Um, because not only do we need, I think... Well, once we get Bellum Justum... We'll only need a thousand prestige to be able to declare the war, but we need prestige to be able to hybridize with the Egyptians as well as form an empire. And we need 2,000 uh, prestige to be able to do that, so... Yeah, that's gonna be quite expensive. Hmm, I guess we could also... Maybe try some other events to get some more piety, or prestige rather. Oh, uh, I suppose we'll also get some prestige once we make these kingdom titles and, titles and give them away, so yeah, maybe we'll be okay. Alright, miss, let's do this, because that was enough jibber-jabber, I think. Sure. Fantastic. Alright, suitably epic music. And, okay, let's use our mercenary men, even though they'll only be around for 18 days. That's fine. And our holy order as well. And how many troops do you have? Uh, about 3,100 by yourself. But with our allies, um... I guess maybe just in case, let's also get our retinue. 
sure. Uh, why don't you guys start sieging that down? Yeah. Okay. Get ready for a lot of missives to come in. A lot of conversion demands, as well as marriages and invitations. Oh no. <sighs> oh. Oh no. I, uh... I think it's somewhat possible that I may have gone... Uh, slightly overboard. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Great, thank you. Oh, this is the Herculean dude. Yes. Yeah, I, uh... May have very, very slightly gone overboard. Oh, whoa. What? We're attacking an army of zero? She's actually leading the troops all by herself? Okay. Well, uh, that's great. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was the best thing ever. Holy shit. Did you see that? That was incredible. Within a week of the war starting, more or less, Sorry, 12 days it started ago. Um, it, it, it started 12 days ago. She rose up to defend her land all by herself and then got completely annihilated. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. Okay. Um, yes. Enforced demands. Fantastic. That was great. Oh, that was so good. Alright, kid. I will give you these counties as well. Enjoy. Um... Are we expecting more people to come into our court? Or is... is 88 it? Uh, let me give this a couple days. And then we'll see if we have more people to, um... That are expected. Uh, and I think I might as well just ransom this guy. Yeah, he's in fine health now, but there's no guarantee that it'll uh, stay that way. And he might actually lose land. Then we won't be able to ransom him for the full amount anyway, so he might as well. Okay, yeah, let me just um wait until we... I guess that might be it. I think we may have gotten everyone that we were expecting, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's great. Uh, let me put a break in here. I know it's very early in the episode, so I apologize. Uh, let me put a break in here. Um, I'll demand the conversion of all these guys, and then we'll be back in a sec. Um, wait, do I have anything else to deal with before we do that? Uh, I guess not. No, I think we're fine. Great, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, so as promised, I've demanded the conversion of all of my courtiers. I did not, however, arrange more marriages because I figured... 88 courtiers is maybe... <laughs> maybe enough for now. I mean, in between episodes, I might arrange for more marriages, but uh, I think for now, we're okay. Yeah, we have a lot of, well, a lot of very martially oriented characters because I figured it wouldn't hurt to have these um, characters with these different, um, what's it, martial traits. Uh, there was one that I found who I thought would be particularly good at um, hillside combat. If I can remember uh, what he had. But essentially, he had like three traits that um, added advantages to his uh, uh, hillside combat and all that jazz. Uh, anyways, I think now this guy is our next target. And we'll go for a holy war for his county as well. Sure. And then that might be pretty much all she wrote for this kingdom here. Yeah. Again, I don't think we'll be attacking our ally for, um, for their portion of that kingdom, but, uh, that's fine. Um, so, 
assuming that we grant these guys independence and assuming that they eventually become of our uh, dynasty, um, hopefully soon, um, then we should have, let's see, nine kingdoms, I think. Yeah. And I also noticed uh, Danakil here is doing pretty well in their expansion into um, Yemen. Uh, so they need nine counties to be able to make the kingdom of Yemen. Great. And right now they have one, two, three, three. So they need six more. Right. Oh, I guess the Kotra is also a part of that. Interesting. I kind of wanted Socotra for myself, but I guess we could also maybe... Right, we're not allied to them, so we can't just jump in. Um, Can we somehow arrange for some sort of alliance between our two houses? Wait, no. You're the same house. I feel like that should make it a lot easier for me to um, ally with him, but... All right, fair enough. I guess I do have a lot of allies. Cool. Anyways, we'll go to war with you. And then after that, I guess maybe we could just chill. Um, build up our reserves and then go to war once we feel that we have enough money to uh, not only found the new empire, but fund our um, incursion into that uh, area. Yeah, I guess we should also maybe be prepared for the possibility that we need to host feasts and um, call for a hunt as well, so... Hmm... Okay. Yeah, so after this war, there might just be a period of peace. Which is fine. Alright. Anyways, let's go for the Holy War for the county. Uh... And yes, that's the only county that's part of this kingdom. Oh, sorry. Oh. Same person. Gotcha. Fantastic. Alright. Let's do this. Um, can we get the same thing that we had before, where the leader of the, uh, of the foreign realm just, you know, um, rises up with no troops whatsoever, and then just gets completely annihilated? Would that be a request that we can make? Oh, uh, yes, still men at arms. Get in there. Obviously our mercenaries will disband before they, uh, get there, but that's fine. And there they go. That is okay with me. Great. Get in there, annihilate them, and... I wonder if we can find that dude with the... really crazy stack of, uh... Hillside stuff. Oh, I think it's him! So this guy has flexible leader. Uh, also rough terrain expert, which increases his advantage in hills by four. And, um... His minimum battle rolls in hills by two. And then Aggressive Attacker, which increases his maximum battle rolls in hills by two. So essentially, he was made for hillside combat. Anything else is, well, kind of iffy, but... <laughs> no, I'm sure he's fine in other settings as well, but uh, especially hillside stuff. That's kind of what he's made for. So I'm guessing you're not going to be leading troops, even though your prowess is pretty much out of this world. Alright, that's fine. Seven months? Nope, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know if we got enough military engineers, though. So, something to keep in mind, I suppose. Yeah. I, I tried to get as many diverse um, characters as possible. With uh, different tra traits and all that jazz, but... Uh, I don't know if that quite worked out the way that I was thinking it would. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Can we also maybe capture him or his heir for... Monies? So, he's in Kano right now, or Kano, or whatever. I guess we might as well go hit him up, see if we can't capture him, and then ransom him for... Puntai claim on Tapesh? Are you kidding me right now? No! No! Absolutely not! Oh, there we go. End Dynasty Wars. Oh, only 75 renown. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Sure. And Asaneth has come of age. Fantastic. Thrifty clerk. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, could have been a lot better, but um, I guess not so not the worst thing in the world. Great. So let's get you married off to someone of our dynasty, I think. Not a matrilineal marriage, though. 
Um, unless we do want her dynasty to be preserved. Ah, uh, man. Okay, it's got to take a little um, time to uh, customize these uh, cadet branches, coat of arms. Hmm. Do we have you get betrothed to the intelligent kid or the... I guess it doesn't really matter who she gets betrothed to. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it with this guy. Oh, I see. A little bastard action. That's fine with me. And when can we get our next uh, dynasty thing, by the way? Oh, very close. Cool. Actually, uh, should we hold off on attacking them? I guess they are mostly levy. So we sh oh yeah, we should be fine, I think. Get in there. Or not. Or let's get an organizer. Mm, I guess we'll set them up there. What if we have our Hillman? Hillman approach! Oh no, Hillman is um he's okay, but I don't know if he'll necessarily be the one to win everything. Let's just say that I don't think he's going to be our next Mariana. What? Really? So, she might even be better than Hillman? No, come on. Interesting. Alright, well, I guess we might as well just go for whoever's got the better flag. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? But, oh man, I kind of wish I could like... Get a projected uh, view of how this would turn out if I had Hillman in there instead, but oh well, that's fine. That is okay with me. Nice, very nice. Holy shit. Wait, they have a better advantage than we do. Oh, right. Um, unreformed pagan combat advantage makes sense. Okay, so yeah, because we're attacking into their um, holding rather. Gotcha. Uh, we didn't capture anyone? What the shit? Where are you? Oh, you are there. I see. I guess we just never... Uh... Managed to capture him. Then let's maybe go siege down their capital. Um, hopefully without maybe taking attrition. If that's at all possible. Obviously not, but that's fine. At least we can minimize it somewhat. And that should be the county sieged over. Yes, come in. Give me your money, please. Thank you. For a second, I was kind of like, drawing a blank. Yay, we got Sheik Timmons dagger. Nice. That's that's real cool. Great. Good job, guys. Fantastic. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Hostile uh, third parties. We might as well, so that we can get some more. Um, Prestige and all that jazz? Yes, please. I see you, sir. I see you. Stop right there. Don't move. Take your lumps. Let's do this. Maybe we can capture him. We did not capture him. Hey, our next legacy is available. Fantastic. Okay. So I think at this rate, we might actually be able to get uh, side by side before the end of this campaign. Holy shit. Wow. Alright, so we can get a Cultural Emissary. Our Cultural Acceptance gain also goes up by 20%. Uh, employing a character in this position increases opinion with characters of other cultures and gives prestige. Ooh. Yes, please. Fantastic. Alright, let's see what this court position is all about. Cultural Emissary. Whoa! Isis! Isis is our Cultural Emissary? <laughs> Words that have never been spoken, ever. Wow, it's an honor to say something that has never been uttered in the human language, in any human language ever. Isis is our cultural emissary. Fantastic. So if we do that, different culture opinion. Whoa, 15, holy shit. And the aptitude is based on diplomacy skill, known languages and gregariousness. Ooh. Nice. Okay, that's awesome. Hmm, I guess if this guy knew more languages, he might be better than uh, Isis, but, um, no. 
Okay, let's employ Isis as our cultural emissary. Fuck me. <laughs> okay, so that increases different culture opinion by 15. Uh, so does that mean that... Um... Look at that. Cultural emissary, 15. You. Nice. So wait. Then... I'm guessing people of the same culture don't get the... Cultural acceptance. Oh, interesting. So that means that assuming that we have 100% um, cultural acceptance with someone of a different culture, it would actually be beneficial to have vassals of different cultures if you have a cultural emissary, assuming that you have 100% cultural acceptance. Because then there's no malice, there's only a bonus of 15. Oh. You know what? This might actually change things. Wait, why are you not cons- Why am I not considered your rightful liege? Oh. Oh, that's- Oh, that's interesting. Then, I believe- What? You have an artifact? Beautiful Scoparel. Wait, that's not mine, is it? Did you steal an artifact from me? Hold on. Oh no, it was created by her. No, I don't want to claim that. That's weird. That's your beautiful Scoparel. I don't even know what a Scoparel is. Wait, what is a Scoparel? A beautifully crafted little toy trinket sure to bring a smile to the face of any child. I'm so sorry. I need to look up what a Scoparel is. I, I have no idea what the hell that is. Scoparel. Googling this shit. Middle English Compendium. A toy that spins around. Oh, I see. So it's basically, you guys ever had one of those like, um, uh, windmill toys? You know, like the, um, the, the toys with the, that, that are like windmill shaped and then they, you know, do the windmill thing. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but essentially it's that. Fantastic. Uh, can I just... It's a shame that I can't just revoke this title from this guy and then give it to uh, Sekhet for her to rule over personally. So I might as well just give you the... Yeah, vassal that. Not your rightful liege? Is it because I don't have the uh, duchy of um, West Star 4? I'm guessing? Alright, cool. Um, anyways. Sorry about that. Let's continue with this war. Anything to deal with? Uh, I think... I think we're fine. Still got this kid, but we are still working on revoking her title, so yeah, let's not worry about that right now. And you are buggering off to parts unknown. Can you not? Can you just stay there, sir? Because I don't know if we'll be able to do too much in terms of, um, well, I guess we might as well siege it down and then see how it goes. We might get 100% war score before we can catch up to those dudes, but if we can maybe capture his heir, and then ransom him, or maybe him himself, that'd be great. Ten months? Hmm. Now hold on. What if we had a desert warrior? Because they should ignore... Negate supply limit and penalty in desert. Drylands. Is that not uh, desert, I guess? Oh, I guess it's a little different from drylands, maybe? Because I, I, I saw that trait, and I saw that it uh, negates the supply limit penalties in deserts, um, got me intrigued. I don't know exactly how it works, so... How about we try this out? I'm gonna send you in there, and I'm gonna see if that has an effect on your supply limit. Um, if it does not, then I guess it... Oh, great. So we got the claim. Fantastic. Let's have you start working on this, which will take another three years, so I don't know if we'll be able to get that before we, you know, deal with the others, or before we uh, have to give away the kingdom. Alright, miss, get in there, and we'll see how this works. Okay, great. Definitely not tyrannical, though. Sir, there you go. That is yours. Fantastic. And... Uh, I mean, you're still losing supplies. And 
we are over the supply limit. It says that we're supposed to negate supply limit and uh, penalty in desert, but... I guess the supply limit is a little bit higher with her? Yeah, it's a little bit higher with her, but it doesn't quite negate it. Or at least I, I thought the implication of a negate would mean that it's just completely not um, applicable on her. But I'm guessing maybe it just means that it slightly increases the supply limit in the desert. Or is it because of something else? No, I'm pretty sure that's it. I see. Alright, good to know. Um, I guess we might as well help out with a the siege then. Because I don't know if we'll be able to catch up these their troops. Where are they now? Okay. So you're involved in that war. Gotcha. Um, they've just fucked off. To where, I have no idea, but they've just fucked off, so... Wait, will we actually help with that? Uh, nine months? I guess it cuts it down by a couple months. Because I was thinking maybe we can just follow these guys around and uh, hit them up. Yeah, and then try to get some more uh, prestige that way. Or just stay in there and seat that down together. That's fine, too. If we see their troops coming towards us, then we'll definitely attack them and then try to get some more war score that way, but... Otherwise, this might just basically be it. We're also getting the ticking war score, but it's not too much, obviously. Nice. Ah, shit. Okay. Um, They're going to be able to siege that back down pretty quickly before we finish with this. So, yeah, let's go uh, deal with that nonsense then. Good grief, guys. Oh, and I see your troops. What the shit? Wait. What happened to the previous guy? Um, were you the ruler of this? Or was it this? I think it was this. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh! Oh no, you've been maimed. Oh, uh, well, my mother's former uh, widower might be on his way out to um, the Duat now, unfortunately. Yes, let's get this lady with 30 pres uh, stewardship. 30 stewardship. Holy shit. Very nice. I guess we don't actually need her to continue with the uh, cultural acceptance stuff. Maybe we should just do collect taxes instead. Whoa. A difference of nine ducats. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm hoping that you guys will be okay just by yourselves. What? Court amenity setting invalidated? Okay. Um. Why the fuck do you think I care about some random court that's like halfway around the world? And what the hell they do with their stupid courts uh, amenity settings? What the hell game? I don't know why you thought that was relevant information for me. Because it's not. Unbelievable. Sending me stupid notifications about that kind of garbage and then, you know, withholding on other stuff. All right. Charismatic Negotiator. Fantastic. Alright, Orna. Uh, you and Isis can get married. Fantastic. And hopefully you'll start pumping out some Herculean... Or, sorry, um, some genius beautiful babies. And speaking of Herculean, how is... Imhotep? Ah, shit. Okay, so... They weren't quite able to... Um, uh, make a baby, but I guess that's... Oh, thank you, Lonjin. Wow, that's a lot of uh, stress loss. Fantastic. Can we catch up to them? Because the sooner we end this war, the better, obviously. So get in there, please. And we have an inspiration. Oh, he wants to weave a historical record. Skill is merely decent? Unfortunate, but sure, why not? Okay, get in there a little bit faster, guys. A little bit faster. Yeah, that should be good. Alright. Six days. Three days. Two days. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think she might be a little bit better. Now, she is pregnant, but I don't think that'll really affect her. No. If anything, it might increase her uh, rage. And, uh. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> I guess we got what we wanted. Nice. Or do we ransom him? Oh, wait, no. He's not even. Okay, no. Not him. Alright, so if we ransom him, I don't think we'll have enough war score to win this, but we are almost done with the siege there. 
So we might as well. Sure. I could always squeeze out a bit more money. Thank you. Oh, uh... uh you, you know what? Uh, fine. I guess maybe fight those dudes. Sure. Why not? 88%. Okay, cool. That's fine. Ah, shit. Really? Oh, there we go. And we have Serpentine Budai? Sorry, I almost read that as a Serpentine uh, Buddha. <laughs> I was like, what? I didn't know there was a snake version of Buddha. Okay, great. Um, Fantastic. That worked out. That worked out real well. Very nice. And I will, of course, give you that county as well. Great. Okay. Well, uh, that brings us to now one year away from being able to hybridize with the Egyptians. And looks like there's been a succession. Nice. Asaneth, are you, uh, wandering? I don't think so. Get back into my court. What are you doing wandering around? Unacceptable. Absolutely not. And have you guys finished with your... Almost 14 months until they're done with their mangonels. Fantastic. And we still have another... Three years for household soldiers. And I guess we didn't get those good events. So four months until we can get the... Um, Bellum Justum. Alright, so... Minimum of four months to go before we do our kingdom invasion on Egypt. Yeah. And then uh, life will be good. Yeah. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. Now that being said, um, I am hoping that we can do like an entire episode uh, dedicated to the kingdom invasion. Um, like as in, you know, we start the episode and then we immediately go to war with them. So, depending on how the next episode goes, uh, it might be the Kingdom Invasion, it might not be, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll endeavor to uh, make it our Kingdom Invasion episode, but uh, again, it might depend on, uh, depend on how uh, things go and all that jazz, but we'll see. Alright, so for now, uh, that's enough of me saying uh, we'll see uh, over and over again. <laughs> Let th let's end things off and uh, we'll continue tomorrow as we may begin our invasion of Egypt, but again, um, I'm not gonna say it, but anyways, <laughs> sorry, fucking verbal diarrhea at this point. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!